Okay, we're only, it's Tuesday, Saturday at 9am. I will be picking up our lovely little Siberian Husky, puppy, boy, puppy. Um, so, a couple of questions I've had, and I'm trying to find out that to now. Uh, I wrote to the local veterinary surgery, um, to which I didn't get a reply, so I had to chase again. And then they replied, sorry for not um, getting back to you. You can bring him in any time on Saturday, because we've got open surgery, so no need to book it in, which is good. Um, and then, of course, it's about the injections and when and where you can take them. Um, they're saying you take the get the first injection done, and then wait two to four weeks and get the second one done, and then a week after that, then you can take them out safely. So I was like, wow, that's a long time. So a couple of questions I've got are, what happens? Do you want to take them out to go to the toilet? Presumably, I can take them to the garden. Can I not? Do they need to be left inside to do their business or? What is that bad? So I'm trying to find that out. Um, the other thing is, there are costs associated with getting the injections. I'm not sure. Um, and are they microchipped at the same time? Do I need to bring any documentation with me, like address and stuff like that? You know, proof of address, I say. So I've asked all those questions. Uh, it's suddenly thrown up a lot. And I was up last night. I couldn't get to sleep because I was trying to work that out. I was thinking I'm going to bring him to work with me. And for about one, four, up to five weeks, maybe six, can't go outside. Is it there? So I don't know. Um, so I'm just trying to sussle this out. It got me up last night though. I was thinking, oh no, how do we do all this? So, and also the same at home. Don't really want to go into the toilet inside and that sort of seems like a bad way to start off. I'm gonna find the answers out to these and they're probably really simple answers that you should know. But that's part of the groundwork, isn't it? So anyway, I'll update you when I have more news. Hello, this chicken. Hello, hello. He said he's got a head on. <laughs> That's it, give him a cuddle and stroke. Get your hair or oil your hands and everything. <laughs> so you can be sure. Really got a bit of hair. Come here, you. You chasing a dot on the floor, you were, weren't you? <laughs> what do you think, Jacob? Epic. Do you like him? Yeah. What are we going to call him? Bruce Wayne. Not Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Because he looks a bit like Batman. We we're going to they wanted to call him Batman. And I said I'm not going to go around the woods shouting Batman, Batman. <laughs> so, we've gone in between and we said Bruce because he's Bruce Wayne obviously. So we're going to call him Bruce or Brucey. Well, so, Bruce that's what we're going to go with. And you weren't allergic to him or anything, were you? You're fine. Yeah, no. man. Yep. So, that's all good. We just gone to test to see if he was all okay with him because Jacob poor little chap does have some allergies and things. So, and he's all good. You can't see me, so don't put me on video. Five o'clock in the morning. Um, first day when we will be dog owners as a family. Um, probably for around about the next 14 years. So, quite a monumental day. Okay, here we go. Leaving home. Um, off to Go and collect Bruce. It is 7.52 a.m. Woke up early, by the way, for um, everyone else going on holiday. It's actually a really, really nice, sunny day. It's gonna be a good day. Here we go. We are there. Hello. Hello. Worried. You're not worried, are you? No. You'll find out. So first litter, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find out if she moans for a long time. Because one day, we'll be all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the time's gone. Around right this side. That's trouble, it doesn't last long, does it? <laughs> Oops. Right. Do you want a towel in there or anything? Yeah. Bruce. <laughs> yeah. There you are. Ready to go. Is Brucey in the house? Brucey? Bruce. Ah, oh, you're so lovely. Bruce. <laughs> He's not quite sure. He's not moaning or anything though. And so that's a good start. We've got a little towel in there. Hopefully a little, little lie down in a minute and you'll be okay. So just been doing some howling. <laughs> Get a little bit. It's been quite long now. We've been for about 15 20 minutes. <laughs> I think I want to just try and get home so we're not traveling in the car because it might, it might be nice having in the car. So we're getting settled. 
It's all a lot to take in, isn't it? They've got a, all brand new people, brand new smells, everything brand new is getting taken in a crate, taken in a car, <laughs> all things doesn't usually do. So I'm just trying to drive really gently. So he's comfortable. And then get him home. And you can have a little wander around and have a look. Quite vocal. I want to get home, get him cleaned up so he's all happy again and then he can start his day afresh. I want him to enjoy his crate as well, I don't want to hate it, so the quicker the better really. But also gotta be gentle <laughs> when driving. Home soon, little Brucey. <coughs> right, he's got really fed up in the last <laughs> last five minutes. Uh, he's hardly stopped. So, uh, we're at home now. We are home, Bruce. We are home. It's going to be fine, mate. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Need to make sure he doesn't go onto the road there. Hello, my darling. Hello. Come on then, let's get you out there. The first paw prints. The first paw prints. Look at him. Look at him. You're really settling in, aren't you, Bruce? You're really settling in. You are. You're really settling in. You're going to be lovely. You're a very clever boy already. I think. That's what I think anyway. Here we go. Go on then. Come on then. Bruce. Bruce, come on. Bruce, come on then. Good boy, come on. Come on, good boy, come on. What? Here we are. Try and nail it. See? Come on then. Hello. Hello, lovely. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Here we go. Pine cone. Who needs a ball when you've got a pine cone? We've done our first little incident on the carpet. That's going to be your bowls, mate. Should we try a little bit of water in there for you? How would you like some water? Get some water. Brilliant. Just start there. Where we're in our tea dinner. He's just chilling. Well, it is now six o'clock in the evening. Almost 12 hours. Um, we've had... Uh, he's, he's had a real day of it. And we tried to let him have a sleep and let him settle down and all that sort of business. Um, but he's just done another poo. I think he's had two at Miss My Parents Place. A two there. We found one and he had another one. He went outside specifically to do it. So that's quite good. Actually, he was he's signalling that he wanted to go and do something. So we let him out and he went and did one. And then he decided to jump on a solar fountain in the little pool, uh, not pool, um, pond they've got. Uh, he stood on it quite proudly and then it went tipped over and uh, he went for a little swim didn't you turns out he can do the doggy paddle so uh, second wash of today he's had he's very good in the car he's learned straight away very very quick to learn so this is his second feed first time he's used his bowl for it and it's 25 past seven coming up and then i'm going to put him in the crate and that's going to be it for tonight, I think. Well, that lasted about two minutes, didn't it? Yeah? Yeah? Yes. Come on then. Out. Come on then. Out you come. Oh. Out. Come on. There he is. No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't be. Don't eat that. Doopy, doopy, doopy lot. All right, so I need to get this out. This pooey thing. And he can't get out, it's all enclosed, the whole garden is. It's, uh, it's all good. Bruce! Nope. What? Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. Come on then. Go on then. Let me show you. Let me show you. Go on then. Good boy. Good boy. 
Okay, dokey. Let's put you in there for now. Hey, Bruce. Yeah. Gonna make it fast, I think. So, instructions would say, you leave him now. <laughs> and while he's quiet, he can go back in there. But not if he's making a fuss. So, that is what we shall do. So, be there about two minutes. He's going pretty nuts. But we will see. So, it's been an hour now. And he's still on. So I'm actually waiting for the opportunity to for three minutes to pass so I can go in there with quietness um, or two hours. So I'm going to give him two hours. Um, hopefully he'll be quiet. I don't want to go in there when he's shouting. That's what we told on the internet over and over again. You don't go in there. So I'm not going to. But he's been on now for an hour and almost an hour and 15 minutes. Just constant not being quiet. So... All the guidance I've seen so far isn't really helping. <laughs> but I'm just going to leave it for two hours and then hopefully it'll all be okay. So it's been two hours. Um, I've just been out to get a takeaway. I've been out for 25 minutes. Um, and he's, he's, a bit, he's a bit quieter. But he's, he's still making noises. But it, he's within his time now where he can't hold his bladder. So I'm going to have to go in and uh, pick him up and put him out and let him have a run around um, to go for a wee and then I guess put him back in again but not sure oh man I've turned the light on oh absolutely stinks in here um, so he's pooed all over the yeah he's pooed all over everywhere right so I'm going to clean this out possibly give him a, a wash um, I don't think he needs to go to the toilet but I'll take him outside Anyway, okay, I'm gonna try and put some treats in here, um, and hopefully he's gone out. He's done a wee. Really good boy. Bear with me a second while I rip this open. Really good boy. He's done a wee. He, I took him out, took him to the area of the garden I wanted to, and he did a wee. Top job. Top job. Um, but now I need to obviously get him back in there. I need to dry out the plate. I've washed it down with a hose. Um, it still absolutely stinks in there. Uh, I might hoover it up a bit because somehow he's got dirt out. I'm not sure how, but it it, it really, really smells <laughs> really badly. Um, so I'm going to hoover that up and then put the tray at the back and the bottom. Stuff that full of toys, bags of tubes, stuff like that. I haven't got any peanut butter, unfortunately, which is what people seem to recommend. Um, and that give him occupy him for a little bit and hopefully it tire him out and he might go to sleep. But... It is now quarter to 10, so we're probably back in about 10 to 10. Then another two hours, 10, 11, 12, so 12 o'clock. Um, so midnight, and then he can go back out for a wee stroke poo if he needs it. And then every two hours, really, possibly three if he's tired out. So probably three o'clock in the morning, I'll set the timer for. And then six o'clock in the morning, we'll try that. Okay, as I was filming that, um, he's done a poo on the floor. This is not going very well so far. And as I was trying to open the door to quickly get him out because I saw him squatting, um, spill all the water and stuff. Okie dokie. Right, I got this filled up. Oh, bits have fallen out quite easily. Oh, there's... Oh, do you like them? Please say you like them. Because if you don't like them, <laughs> you're not going to want to get them out of your Kong. Come on in. Come on in. Are you ready? Come here, Bruce. 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 Hi. Oh, and you got that in there as well. Good boy. You have got lovely stuff in there. And I'm hoping that's you sorted. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Right, let's shut the window back up. Just trying to air it out a bit. It absolutely stinks. It's a bit better. Still pretty vile. 
close this back down. Allow me. Like so. Now he's got a load of treats. Uh, that's the second stage of what I've learned on the internet. Yeah, he's not liking it already. But there we go. Nothing I can do about it. So time now. No, no, Bruce. Uh, time now is 10 to 10. So 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, midnight. So he's going to do this for another two hours. And uh, hopefully he won't poo again in there. Hopefully not. Oh dear. And uh, we can then go from there. But hopefully not. We will see. So we are now almost two hours again. This is four hours in total. Gotta give it to him. He's got some endurance, that's for sure. So it's now 25 past 11. Gotta wait until 12, then let him out. And then I'm gonna go to bed for two and a half hours. And then I'm gonna let him out again. Hello. Come out for a wee now. Come on in. Okay, he went straight out and got him to do a wee after a quick cuddle. He went to a wee. Very good. And he got praised for it. So now we're going to go back again. And we are got to put him away now. I'm going to have to sleep for a couple of hours. Right, quarter to 12. He's back in there. And started off again. So it'll be another, another two and a half hours of that. Probably three hours. Probably get up at three o'clock in the morning. Right? Well, for some reason my alarm didn't go off. But I woke up at 4.20. Let's go and see how he is. He's not making a noise. Right, I just dropped him outside. And he's down there. He's done a wee again. In the same spot, which is all good. And he's just had some water. Um, unfortunately, has, he has pooed in there again. So it's not going It's not going that well to stop him pooing. He just seems to just poo in there. Um, so I need to take a tray out again and clean all that out. <sighs> and then was, so I've got I've kind of set him off again, so I'm wondering now, if he was quiet, should I have left him? But, I don't know. It's now half past four. I'm going to have to go back to bed. I'll just leave him, I think. The treat thing didn't work. Oh. Right, well I know it's night one. It couldn't be any earlier days than it currently is. But success rate in the theory of him not pooing where he sleeps um, is a resounding failure as of today. So I think it's four times now, three or four times he's gone in there and he's just pooed in there. And he hasn't really been that bothered by it. <laughs> uh, we is the only successful one. It's a shame it doesn't work with we and poos. Um, that'd be brilliant because so far every single time he's gone out taken him to the corner in the garden and he's weed which is brilliant and poos not so much so just seems to go to poo and just lie around in it so whether I need an even smaller crate I do not know um, yeah good morning good morning you've got a poo again haven't you another poo 